Alrighty, so Cuckoo movie review. Cuckoo movie that I keep pronouncing. At first, when I saw it, I was like, Cuckoo? Is that what I might, like, you know, say? And, and then I realized it's the bird, Cuckoo, like the Cuckoo bird. And in the film, they mention at some point, I think the main villain he mentions it, and then the other guy mentions it. And it ties in because. I don't say I was distracted watching this film. I was waiting for very important phone calls. I wasn't even like really fully present with this movie. Um, but what, what I can gather from the gist was that what was it? They're like oh, so I guess it's kind of like um, the Strangers. Is it the Strangers actually? Oh, I don't know. It's not the Strangers. It's the other movie. I saw a similar movie where there's these humanoid figure people and they live like the woods and stuff so this one's similar in that i don't even remember i did a movie review on it and i don't even remember what it was but it, that one was it was okay it takes place in ireland right and the forest is also like very because if you look at a map of ireland like, you look like satellite view of ireland it doesn't look like it's very much forested areas but this area that they show in the film is like very heavily forested and you see, now, now I want to look at that. I'm going to definitely maybe want to do this review. I'll just look it up again. Because I don't recall seeing a very heavily forested area. At least on the satellite view images of that country. Anyway. What was I thinking of? Um, Cuckoo. Yeah, so this movie. the They're like monster people, I guess. They're like... But the little girl, we know that her sister is like one of them. I guess she has the DNA. And so she, evidently she will turn into a cuckoo person. And they're like animalistic, but they have intelligence. And they're, the mother was like this lady in like the trench coat and glasses. And that's the one that we see her trace. Like we've we lost the trailer. She gets chased by it. And we see that in the movie. She got chased by it. This film, it's a neon film, right? It's a sponsor neon film. I remember seeing the trailer for this a long time ago. So it feels, I've completely forgot this movie existed. But I looked at, you know, what was playing today. And I saw Cuckoo and I was like, oh, okay, I haven't seen... You know, I'm not interested in the romantic romantic drama film and some of the other ones that I was interested in. I'm not, uh, I've already seen them. Borderlands, I don't know if I'm going to see that one yet. That one I'm on the fence about. But, yeah, so I went to see this one and Horror Mystery, I said, okay, maybe I should enjoy it. Or at least somewhat. But, I don't know, they're kind of a, a hit or miss, these horror mystery movies. This one, I didn't really care for it. I don't... I was confused. Like, again, I wasn't paying attention, though. So, I don't know if this is really a fair assessment to make of the film. But, but I don't know. I, eh, I was... I, just, I didn't care for this movie. I didn't care for it at all. This film is, like... Ugh. So, like, yeah. The, they're, like, monster... I guess they're, like, monster. Human hominids. They make a screeching noise that, like, disorients the person. And another fact about them is... What was I thinking in my head? What was I thinking about? Another fact about them is this, uh... Oh, what was I thinking? I was trying to think. I was, I'm losing my train of thought here. Um, Well, they kill you. I guess, I don't know. I guess they, because they, like, lay, I think they lay, and that's, that's lubricant on their hand. Like, so they'll in, in, incapacitate, incapacitate, I think that's the word. They'll incapacitate you, and then they'll, like, start, the how, like, I guess they're, I don't know how they got... They got the slime on their hands, right? Like a lubricant. I'm guessing they're going to put their hand... Or, like, they're putting their hands into the woman's vaginas... And they're inserting their eggs. Because they don't... Impreg they insert eggs. I think that's what the guy said. They insert eggs inside you. And then... When the woman has sex with... Oh, yeah. You know what? This actually... This is probably... This is why they're called them cuckoos. I just realized. Yeah. So, that's probably what happens. They're... Because I think we only see women that are cuckoos, too. We don't see any male cuckoos. At least, you know, that not that I could think of. Yeah, not that I'm thinking about it. All the all of them were women. And I think there were only two of them anyway. One of them escaped. We see that in the earlier film. One of the cop guys. One of them escapes. And then the other cuckoo. Um, what was I thinking of? It's like the mother. So the, the Gretchen. I think that's her name. I think her name is Gretchen. But the mom, her parents. Uh, and we know her mom died. And that's an important factor. Because she's like traumatized by this. And then she's also, she's supposed to be a teenager. She's supposed to be 17 years of age in the film. And I don't know, I she looks like she could be my age. I thought, I thought she was my age. When I looked at the, um, Google, it said a 17-year-old. So she's supposed to be an adolescent. But in the film, like, I'm like, you know, she looks like she's my age. 
like she could be my age like a young woman um but anyway yeah so now i'm guessing with the cuckoos yeah they that's why they get their hand with some slime because they're gonna take their egg and insert it into the woman's and then with the man you know assuming that they have sex so i guess i have to target them yeah and that's why they go to the resort that's why they're around the resort because it's assumption their couples are coming in here they're probably fucking and so because this is how they pre make their species i guess and that's why i have the gretchen sister so when they conceive the the sister gretchen's parents she's got like uh she's like she i guess she's every well i don't know i guess she's dad's dna but and maybe mom's dna too and because she's normal right but then she has like these seizures that she has and she well she's also like i don't know if this is honestly that's the thing i wasn't really paying attention i don't know if she was um she's not deaf but she's mute right so they communicate to her with sign language right and so i don't know if she became mute or she was always mute and then she has seizures but the seizures are probably not seizures they're like her inner cuckoo becoming like it's like she's i guess because they mention even at towards the end of the film when she's holding her little sister on the little card thing and she says like hey you know are you gonna protect me he's like oh yeah i, I promise and then he's like what well, did you say it to your wife too and and he gets really upset about it because his wife died because i think his wife got impregnated by the cuckoo bird or whatever the fuck thing person monster thing and then the other guy the other villain guy that first mentions the whole cuckoo bird thing he's like and then he also like hands around their family house and then he has this flute the flute like controls the cuckoo-ness and i think he knows that his Gretchen's sister is like a cuckoo it's um and then danielle danielle i think there's like there's a lady he kills that lady and the nurse lady and they're like the only ones in the hospital i guess basically yeah but he kills those two and and how do you call what's i thinking and i don't think about everybody within this area because we're like in the valvarian alps it just it doesn't say where you are it just says valvarian alps it doesn't say like maybe a town specifically or something this area it's like houses the road is winding through the mountains it's like isolated and desolate because there, we have the hospital building and we see there's cars outside the hospital building there's other people there and then it's like a treatment center that's next to the hospital and well we don't see anything outside of like I mean, there's a house here there's a apartment there's a little village center type thing no right it's um anyway getting back to what i was saying um yeah so the cuckoo so the cuckoo i guess that's how they pre you know perpetuate their their species and this guy this this evil the main evil villain guy he um he has investive he has an investive interest in in perpetuating the cuckoo species right and that's why he said no oh, gretchen can't leave she has to stay because she's gonna she's supposed to be breeding and making more cuckoos because i don't actually i don't really know why why we need more cuckoos because they, they don't they act like animals it seems right the the lady in the trench coat as far as i'm concerned she live in the woods and she don't like what did she do all day she just sleep all day and then look for i don't know it's, i wasn't really paying attention to this film so maybe i'm i'm missing a lot of stuff i'll definitely have to watch a movie analysis from another person um most definitely is someone explaining this because i don't know what the fuck's going on and then what else i'm giving thought to uh oh my gosh what was i thinking of things i liked in the film i like the the girl i like when she gets her job at the front desk at the hotel place and that girl she's very she um maybe she can sense that she's like down to her lug and she's not happy so that's why she does that move with the hand thing and um and she tells her she tells her she's like, oh you can go because they leave at the end of the film she leaves with her i guess presumably to paris but she tells her oh you know you like i forgot what she says to her actually she mentions like oh you can come to paris with me and then i like when she has a second meeting with her she says do you like to smoke and then we immediately cut to them making out and she's got a cigarette while she's making out with her i thought that was funny and it was like kind of hot too and then what else what was i thinking i like when the what was that guy i don't even know what the fuck his name was but the old man guy that he looks like i have to look at the youtube movies because i have a movie saved for youtube that i haven't watched yet and that movie how do you call uh i'm pretty sure that actor is in that movie it's like an icelandic movie i don't know if i even hear him speaking german in this film so i don't know and i think iceland has high english proficiency like a lot of people there speak english as a second language anyway but anyway yeah so in this film how do you call uh 
What was I thinking of? Um, I kind of I like how I like how you know he he takes her aboard with him to like stake out the house. I like when she when Gretchen goes into the room and she sees that because she recognizes her immediately. That's the trench coat lady that was chasing me before the cuckoo monster lady and and he like pushes her aside and he shoots and like he's got this gun like a bag for some reason i guess to silence it because they're like it's at a resort and then it catches on fire and he just walks with that bitch on fire and then he because the, the monster lady jumps outside the window and through the bathroom and then he runs out through the window in the bathroom and i don't think about it but moments before in that scene i think i got that this woman that the cuckoo is gonna impregnate i guess or put the eggs inside she was like going to seduce her husband or boyfriend or whatever and he's like one of the cops if i'm mistaken and then they're speaking french i thought that was funny so we learned like oh okay he's a french guy and i thought that was kind of funny and then yeah and then i like how he just runs after her and then he comes back and is like oh you, you know usually i'm too late but this time you know we can save her so he put they put her on the side and then we see later when Gretchen gets um, entrapped in like this room with a pool by the evil scientist, main villain guy. He he sees her choking and he's like, oh, that's not good. We got to put you in your side so you don't choke. Because she's like choking onto the saliva or whatever the fuck. And then, how do you call, uh, you know, but then he grabs a pillow and he's got to choke her. But we know from, you know, the the guy, he kills the other dude because he sees the gun there. And we can get the vibe that he's going to take his gun, kill him. And we hear, like, three shots. And then we see him outside. He shoots him. We think he's dead. And he shoots the other cuckoo monster girl. This is the younger one that escapes earlier in the film, like, in the very beginning. And so there's only one cuckoo monster left, I think, after that. Because that second one died. But uh, And then he also says this. Because, like, so in the, in the Watchers, that's what it's called. In the Watchers... They mention the monster. They have to watch. They like, they want to watch you so they can mimic you really well. That's what they say, right? And this movie, they do the same thing. He opens the door when he has Gretchen like this room with the pool. He opens the door with the blinds coming up so that the cuckoo monster girl can come inside. And because he says to her like on the intercom, like, oh, you know, they they have to watch you. They have to, you know, observe you to learn more about you so they can become. So I guess they're primitive now, but that as you know, if they can absorb. Not absorb, but they can observe observe human behavior. Then they can get better at mimicking us, and then they can rejoin the population, the real world, or like the society as a whole. And I don't get there's an agenda with this, and I guess this evil scientist guy, he did, or maybe he just he just really thought they were cool and he wants to preserve them. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. And then he kills his partner Danielle, and. I'm not sure because she she made a tape without him and I guess this tape or like he didn't appreciate that or like she has her own ulterior motives I have no idea but he kills her and and so so she's fucking dead and and then he's and then like the only people like I said earlier they're the only people in the hospital I guess and because then there's like a firefight in the hospital between the two of them and and Gretchen kills the the mom cuckoo lady she kills that bitch and uh and she wants to hurt her but i don't know what the fuck she wants actually because they had the daughter they had her little sister in a bed with this shit on her head and but it was all a farce like she's not having seizures she's like a cuckoo and they wanted the mother cuckoo to come and like i don't know i guess put eggs inside her i don't fucking know this movie's like kind of weird i like i said i wasn't really paying attention to this film though so it's not fair for me to... I feel like it's not completely fair to me to, like, maybe write it off. But what I did see or what I did pay attention to, eh, it's just meh. Cuckoo, it's okay. It's, just not, it's an okay movie. There were moments that I did like. I did like the little flirting with the girls and the kissing scene. I like that character, the German detective guy. Kind of like how his face looks a lot of the time. It's just kind of crazy. It looks kind of crazy, like batshit crazy. And, um... And that's it actually the setting is nice it looks pretty the cinematography it looks fucking depressing actually to live there it's like just it's thick heavy woods a lot of dark overcast shadows it's it's i mean nowhere gretchen wants to leave um but she has to, she doesn't have a home to come back to we found out we find out in the movie that her dad tells her like oh the house yeah i sold it i don't want to tell you because i don't like make you upset because i knew you like you'll be like really upset to learn that like yeah i sold the house there's no house to go home to but yeah the house is uh <laughs> there's no house to go home to and and so i guess yeah her going to the paris girl is good enough of and then 
I don't know, because her parents... Her parents... I don't think her parents are evil. I think they... Because... And then... I don't know. I don't know what happens, actually, at the end of the film. I guess she ran off to Paris. And her she, you know, little sister... I guess you coming with me. And her parents... Well, they just gotta have to... Because even leaves a note to the parents. Even has to leave a note that says, like... Don't, don't come looking... I left. Don't come looking for me, by the way. Which is like, okay. I guess, you know, you're an adult. But, you know, she's supposed to be 17 in this. I don't fucking know. It's uh, I like when the, that guy says, "Oh, you are you from England?" And he, and and the guy that the I guess Danielle, I think that was her. She says that, and the dude's like, "No, he's from the United States." It's uh, so I guess they had other people that come in. They were England because they immediately talk to you in English, right? And then, you know that's like movie convenience, but that also makes sense. That like I'm assuming you're from England, so I'm gonna talk to you in English. But if you're American, it also is more appropriate to <laughs> just talk to you in English. Um. Yeah, cuckoo, thoughts, review, rating, it's okay. Um, Thank you for listening.